how's this bubble faring in, compar- in comparison to anything you've done before? Mate, it's brilliant. I'm loving the pace and quiet. I'm loving the pace and quiet. Very relaxed, very chilled. Tom, obviously we spoke at length only a few days back, so just a, a couple questions from me. Um, you mentioned in our interview, something I never picked up on, that you wanted to kind of win a title for your old man. You wanted to win a title for your father at some point in your career. Going into this fight, giving me uncertainty kind of around the world at the minute with a pandemic, do you feel a pressure to beat Alan Babic on Saturday night? Um, I feel pressure to beat him, but that's not anything other to do than other than my own doing. Knowing, the only pressure is knowing how hard I've worked, knowing how hard I've how hard of sacrifice that's the only pressure I don't want that to be for nothing um other than that there's not I don't feel feel no no pressure no other pressure than any other time you step step into the ring but I I do understand that this it this fight is the first step of me achieving what what I want to do for a non-selfish reason if you get what I'm saying like this this is what this is my first step. So I suppose you could say there's a little a little bit there, but nothing that I, I've thought I've, I've ever thought about. Oh, do you know what I mean? Pressure's on. I know I'm prepared. Do you know what I mean? I know I'm ready. I know I'm fit. I know I could stand and have a trade out for eight rounds if I got to, and I don't think he's going to be able to. Tom, we saw a photo of you put up on the, the Matchroom Twitter earlier this week, and you looked in tremendous condition. Um you spoken to me again and you spoke about kind of how confident you're feeling heading into this fight. What's brought this kind of this little change in mentality for yourself and this kind of new lease of life almost? Um, do you know what it is? I, like I said, I feel I feel like I've I've let I've let other people down in my career that um sacrificed so much, which I didn't really understand about really. And I thought myself, do you know what? What's what's the matter with you? You you're an idiot. Get get the graph done. I've like I think anybody that knows boxing sees sees that I've got ability. Like I've I've shared the ring with some tremendous names and I've never looked out of out of place. Do you know what I mean? So um I thought give you give give yourself and and the people that sacrifice so much for you. The opportunity to 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 achieve something in this sport, do do something. Final one from me, Tom. Both yourself and Alan have spoken about kind of what to expect from a pair of you come Saturday night, and it will effectively just be a, a, a slugfest for as long as it lasts. Um, is there a pressure on yourselves once again to live up to that? And if so, do you believe this will be the fight of the night, the fight that everybody remembers? I believe this will be the fight of the night. Listen, you can't, like I say, I'm going to say it again. Um, obviously, standing there and out, knocking knocking seven bells out of somebody that that's what they do is um, that's not really the way the way you're going to work. But I'm going to have no other choice to. There's going to be places and points in this fight where you, I've got I'm going to have to bite down on my gunship from early on. Because I can't run away from him, he said he just promotes him to do what 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 he loves and strives to do. So listen, I will mean that it's like what it's like what Tyson done. Ty, Tyson didn't run away from Deontay Wilder. He went straight at him and said, "What's I'm, I'm a bigger man. I'm a lot physically bigger man, and um, I'll be punching down on my target because I'm a lot tall, taller. And with the strength work I've been doing as well." I believe I'm going to be a lot stronger than him. Naturally stronger. Tom, that's it from me. Uh, Best of luck with the rest of this week and obviously Saturday. God bless you. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Andy. If you go to Jonathan from Pro Boxing Fans next, please. Cheers, mate. Uh, Dan, is it right to uh, record it? I can't record on my end for some reason. Yep, let me just fix that for you now. I think it's because you left and rejoined. There you go. You should be okay too now. Yep, wicked. You right, Tom? How's it going? Right, how's it going? Yeah, good, good. Um, with the way sort of you fight and Alan fights, can it be anything but a knockout? And how long do you realistically expect this fight to last? Do you know what? Realistically, I don't. I, I think if this goes five rounds, it's a long fight. Um, 
that he's, he's got no choice but to be a barnstormer. Um, I think everybody, everybody know anybody that knows me knows that I'm not I'm not shy to get stuck in, especially if I'm hurt. Like this, when I thought Majidov was a was a prime example of that, I climbed straight off the canvas and went and got stuck. Well, tried to get stuck stuck into him, um, but the thing is, nobody's seen the the me in this condition because I've never been in this condition before in my in my career. And when I jump on the scales, everybody everybody will see because I I do understand that from especially from me, talk can be very cheap, but um, for my own personal reasons. I mean, I was saying, I really, really knuckled down. I'm giving this boxing thing one last shot because, like, like I've said, too many people had, had um, made sacrifices for me growing up to be able to do this. So, and I and I feel like I owe it to them to, to go out and I've put the shift in. And listen, I believe I stop, I stop Alan. I, I stop him. I'm not going for a point to win. I, if it goes eight rounds, it goes eight rounds. I'm full ready and prepared for it for eight rounds, but it ain't, it ain't. If it goes five, it's a long fight. When do you make that switch mentally? Because you know we see your jovial character, but when do you make that switch to um, fight mode? Do you know what it is? I'm. I was saying to, today, like, listen, Pete. Like I'm always an a nice, like I'm always nice, and I'll, I'll always like, laugh and joke. That that is just me. That that's how I am. But I'm. It's safe to say, from the minute I walked in this door, my face, my my fa face paint was left at home. There's no clown, clown about. I'm here for strictly business, and I I'm here to I'm a, here to wage wage war. I, I'm here for, I'm here for maximum damage, maximum uh, maximum pain. And I listened, like I said to Alan, I genuinely meant it. I said, if both of, the, if both of us ain't bleeding, we ain't done our job properly. Um, just two quick ones from me. Um, what's it like going into this fight? You know, you've had these, you know, difficult fights in the past, Olympians, uh, you know, Daniel Dubois. What's it like going into a fight with Alan, who's proved, you know, he's a, a very good heavyweight, but still relatively untested at the moment? Do you know what it is? It's... It's pressureless, and it, I've when you sit, when I sit, I've always talked like talked the fight up, and and always done it. But when when I sit there and I ain't got a, I ain't got to try and kid nobody, I've always been sitting there thinking to myself, "There's a reason these boys went to the Olympics and everything, um, and there's a reason I didn't." So um, you sit there and the old, the old, old seeds of doubt coming. I've not I've not had. And I, I can swear this on my kids. I've not had one seed of doubt full camp. I've, I've not vi visualised one thing other than me winning and winning in brilliant fashion. I've, I've, I've never been this confident since I stopped Josh Sand. And I, and I said I'd beat him. I said I'd stop him. And I, t I said what round I'd stop him in. So I know. I, know, I, just, I just know my anima I fully focused me. I fully prepared me. Beats a fully prepared at Alan Barrage. And that's why I listen. I turned this fight down when they oh, for Sean Dale for Sean Dale Winters when they when they fought Sean Dale Winters. But I knew I knew it would come full circle. I listen. If I turned it down, I thought and I watched him because nobody really seen anything of him. I watched him, rang up and asked for him because I know I know I fully I fully flight me. Whatever I'm saying, if I if I didn't think that generally in my own head, I would have thought, you know what, leave him. He's a bit much. Do you know what I mean? But I know a fully a fully fledged me to the best of my ability beats him at the best of his ability. And finally, we heard the news uh, over the weekend that Dave Allen retired. Um, I know you've had a few back and forth over the years, but I'm sure you wish him the best in uh, retirement. Do you know what it is? It's such a shame for him to retire. It's generally a shame. And that, do you know what it is? People that, like people generally thought that I would hate in my heart for Dave. I didn't I would hate in it out of it. I didn't know him. So how can you hate someone you don't know? Um I wish him not I just wanted to box him. I wanted to fight him. We were in the same thing with two personalities. I thought it was a good fight for 
for, for British boxing. But, um, listen, as a fighter, you, you know when it's your time. You know when you, you know when things ain't working right and and everything. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of pill to swallow for, for boxing because he's a big personality and, but I wish him all health, wealth and success in what, what he does. And I, I, for his sake, he's made the right right decision. And I generally, I generally do hope that he stays in boxing of some sort, in some sort. Don't just walk, walk away from it completely because he needs it. Like, I hope he remembers that it's one, one, one thing that got him through a, 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 a badish time in his life. Do you know what I mean? So, listen, but, Whatever he decides to do, health and wealth to him. That's a lot, Tom. Look forward to the fight. God bless, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Jonathan. If you go to Ames from Boxing News TV next. Ames here for Boxing News TV. Pleasure to meet you, Tom. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, mate. So we know Alan Babich is the savage. Is the perfect counter to him what you've created with this hippopotamus uh, or ego? Yeah, listen, it's just it's just one of one of them, and it, like, I've I've said for ages, like I'm the hippopotamus, part of gypsy, part of hippopotamus, part of hippopotamus. But Joe, you know what it is like, it's all it's all good fun, um, but that all no amount of savage or no ever say it's just, who, who can ever take the most punishment at the end of the night. Do you know what I mean? That's all it's going to come down to. Um, no water ego is going to save either one of us. It's just who, who can execute their game plan to the to fullest effect. Are you looking to maybe get under Babbage's skin with this sort of thing? Do you think that's a key? I, I, you know what is, I don't think I don't I generally don't think you can get underneath his skin. I just think he's I just think he's a hundred percent violent human being. I think he's a, I think he's like I think he is what he says on the tin. He's a really nice guy, but don't care, no fear. Do you know what I mean? Got got that got that mentality. So I think trying to rub him up the wrong way is not not really not really needed. I don't I don't think I'm gonna need anything. But I think frustration is gonna play play a big key while we're fighting. Mm. While 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 we're, while we're at it, when he's not getting rid of me, and I'm not bothered by what what he's what he's doing, and I'm. Having me little sly comments in his ear when we're up close, I think I think that could play a toll on um on the unraveling of him when we because listen we're gonna spend most of that fight forehead to forehead. You and Alan seem to have on the surface of it a bit of a friendship, a bit of banter between you two. You've compared yourself to Phil and Grant Mitchell. It, will it be hard to flip that switch on fight night because of the friendship? Listen, I was very very good friends with um. David Price, and uh, to be honest with you, if it was me, if if I had a brother, I'd fight him. So it don't like it. It, don't, it generally don't mean a thing for me. The minute that bell goes, you are my full fledged enemy for until the the last bell rings. So that, that's that. Then then uh, which we'll be we'll be friends again. I, I I don't I don't I don't never dislike anybody that I have a fight with. Do you know what I mean? It's just it is. It's a business, strictly business. That's it. We're gonna have a fight. We're gonna get, we're gonna get on. We're gonna wage war for for the entertainment of others and for the well-being of our own pockets. So let's um let's let's go out and deliver what me both me and him have promised. And from what I've seen online, you look in absolutely tremendous shape. Um, will will weight be a factor here? He's on the smaller side. You're generally on the heavier side compared to him. Is that going to be another key here? I think like I'm a lot I'm I'm physically a lot bigger man. I'm a lot bigger man. But um and I'm I'm fast for a big man as well. Like I'm, I'm but not just no I don't think that people's really seen before how um fast I am actually on my feet. Like I'm I I I've got fast hands but I think my foot speed will, will play it and and me conditioning that I that I've done will play a massive factor like a lot of people hear of him only just sparring and everything and so it's it's just a it's just one of those it's it's one of them I I believe I've prepared myself better and um the physicality and the genetics will um 
will see me through. And um, my colleague there mentioned about David Allen retiring, but you also said this is you're giving this kind of one last shot. Could win, lose, or draw for yourself? Retirement come at the end of the fight? Um, no, I've I've already I've already set my time for three years. Unless I start, unless I start taking a lot, lot, lot of punishment, and again, so sorry about that. No worries. Hello, hello, hello. So, so, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, no. Unless I start taking a lot of punishment off of fighters of not a great caliber. Do you know what I mean? Um. Then, then I'd say, then I'd say I'd get out. But other than that, I, I'd, I'm, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> mm-hmm. And two more from me. Uh, there's this bridge weight division that's been introduced. Could you see yourself getting down to that weight? And what are your feelings about bridge weight? I, I ain't far off the bridge weight division as it is. Mm. Like I'd, um, I'd, I'd fit in nice there, but I like the heavyweight game. I like the heavyweight game. I, I'm not a small heavyweight. Do you know what I mean? But listen, I'll see what it is. I'll we'll see what names are going there. It might be so somewhere nice to pick a couple of pick a couple of good fights up out of uh, a couple of good wins. But um, as it is, I'm settling it. I'm settled here at heavyweight. Um, I was going to try and make cruiserweight, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't. I don't think it's going to going to happen. And finally, can I get your prediction for the weekend? And also, you compared this to a Gatti Ward. Could we see a trilogy between you and Babich? Um, nah, the, I'd always give anyone a fight again. Do you know what I mean? Always, but I didn't want to insult Gatti Ward by, by putting me in, my, my name ne- next to that. And like, what I was saying is, like, it's going to be one of them all action fights. I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if both was touch the canvas. Do you know what I mean? And, um, listen, if, if, if it entertained enough people, then I'd say, yeah, but when, after I beat him, I'd say, yeah, I fought you again. <laughs> because if, if it entertains, it makes money and it is a business at the end of the day. Thanks for your time, Tom. All the best of the weekend. Bless you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. All right, okay. I think that's everything for now, Tom. So I really appreciate your time. Um, we'll see you in the bubble later this week, mate. God bless, mate. Thank you. <laughs>